Hello guys, this is Ramin with Ramin Digital on YouTube and RaminDigital.com. I have a new um, Vegas Pro tutorial uh, for that covers um, how to actually use green screen. Again, there's a lot of tutorials out there, green screen does certain things, but actually put it to use, to use a green screen for actually to create a footage, create a movie. You saw in the preview how I did the jet plane and whatnot. Uh, so I just wanted to go over a couple of the, the techniques and the basics that, that we use to you know, create our videos so maybe you guys can, can get something uh, from it. As far as the green screen, there are plenty of uh, raw footage out on, a, on, on YouTube. Just go in there, search for any green screen and you would find a bunch, a bunch of them. Some are better, some are not, some are actually used. A digitally pure green screen which is real easy to knock out some of them are just like they have a vignette around them which is kind of pain to do so so look around and they're all royalty free you can download them you can do whatever you want with them and to use them so whatever it fits for you you can make an intro or you can make a full featured video now in this case uh, as you saw, you saw the preview there's a there's a jet fighter flying shooting uh, a few missiles and the missiles go in the city and blows up okay so what I did, I downloaded, found a couple of clips on, I think one of them is P, P, T, P, E, T, T, green screens from the guy and another guy, I can't remember what his name is. But anyway, the, one of the footage is this one, the plane. Uh, let me just start from the beginning. The plane just goes, uh, shoots, shoots a missile and veers off to the right. Okay, so that's one part of it. Then another one, I found another one, which is a three missile launch that three missiles go out and then they leave a trail of smoke and they go out there and they actually explode. Okay, so very cool. So what we're gonna do, well first we're gonna have to put the, the, the chroma key in here to, to knock out the screen screen. Uh, to get the chroma key, just uh, all you guys know, go to Nophidia FX and get the, grab your chroma key and just drag it onto your uh, footage. Of course, I have one already. I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, so in this case, since this green is pretty nice, so I just picked a, a pure, a, a green screen, which is kind of matching there. Now, when I enable it, and you see everything else turns black. So that means it's knocking out whatever the green was. Uh, sometimes you have to make some adjustments to it. Like in this case, I made some little bit of adjustment. Then I will show you later. If you put something underneath of it, then it might not look that good. So in this case, I adjusted it here. So now what we get, we get a, a plane without the green screen, which actually we knocked out. Uh, you always want to make sure you want to put your green screen footage on top because it, once it knocks out, then it overlays everything else on, on below it. And the second clip is the, the missile, the same thing again. I use uh, the chroma key and I use the green, make a little bit of adjustment in it. So all this is gonna show, is gonna show the missile shooting with a little bit of trail of smoke and goes down there, okay? So I already put some marker because I don't wanna spend too much time trying to time it in there. So I'm overlaying these two clips together. So once it starts, the plane, once it shoots off, it wears off, goes off the screen, and then at a, almost a, a tenth of a second later, because it's an overlay, it shows the actual missile, missile that is shot is going towards something and it's going explosion. Okay, very good. Now what you can do, th this looks nice, you can put it on the background on the video or, or anything else. So what I'm gonna do in here, I have a little piece of footage of clouds. I downloaded this from video blocks. So I'm gonna put the clouds right in there. Okay, so the cloud, which we don't want them to, to be over here. So we want them to be somewhere over there. So now, since our plane is using a chroma key with a green key knocked out, anything underneath of it will show. So what we're gonna see, we're gonna see these clouds underneath of our plane, because if it's not there, it's black, remember? And the clouds are moving. So once you play this thing, you see the plane flying through the sky and it's shooting its jets and it goes away, okay? And then the missile starts. Now, the other thing what I did to actually make the missile, so you, see, you guys are all got, got this part. Put any kind of footage in here. I'm gonna bring a, a, a picture. This is just a picture of New York City, I think it is, or I think it's Hong Kong. So I'm gonna put this over here and starts right where, where our second clip starts, where the missile shoots, okay? So I'm gonna bring it down here. So now what you're gonna see is, because we knocked out the green, it's gonna see underneath of it. So you see now the city is there and the, missiles are going towards it 
and it blows up. I'm going to turn this actual sound on because I added some soundtrack on here so you can get a feel for it. The jet. What we can do in here, we're going to fade it a little bit because we want it to be looking more professional. Okay, so I'm going to also fade this on an out too. Actually, we wanted to end it right here where our clips ends. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, like when you see that the picture, it's just a picture, it's static. It's not doing anything. It's not a footage. So maybe we want to make a little bit of adjustment, make it a more dramatic look. So go to your pan and crop and go to your, you know, where your somewhere over here and just then zoom it in. Zoom it in exactly where you want to go. And look at your screen. Like you said, the explosion is somewhere here. So we want this building to blow up. So I would move this exactly where I want it to be at the base of the building. Right there. Okay. So now we play it again. Now you see the picture is going. It's like the camera is moving towards the city. And once it blows up now if it's not enough motion so you can go back to your point and go in there even a little more and then bring it down so right there so this should give us a good indication okay so it's very good so so you can just continue with this thing you can add another one put the plane back in there again so it's shooting the city somewhere else and then what you're going to do on the, on the back end of it, when it's done, I have some um, alpha channel, uh, doesn't matter, it's alpha channel, it's some fire. I'm going to put these fires on top of this one. We don't need the audio, the red audio. So for more, after dramatic look, after the city gets exploded, everything turns into flame. But you don't want the flame just to cut in. So you're going to make a nice long fade. So it gives it a look like that. And of course bring it to the end uh, the other thing I did in here I added some other soundtrack in it I'm gonna get rid of these tracks because they were just extra tracks I made so I also added another soundtrack in it so this is what you're gonna get the whole thing now you see one thing like the our image once after the explosion where our image is still moving so that means the explosion is moving so we don't want that so we want to go right where the explosion starts you want to move your uh, cur uh the point the anchor right there so it stops from at this point so it goes it moves all the way through and then once the actual explosion starts because you don't want the explosion to move so that means it's, it's static so it gives you the better look these are technical details and then what you're going to do on the top layer, you can put a text. I added the text in there and it says Ramin Digital Tutorial. We're going to do a little bit of fade and then make this shorter and then I hope you guys like this uh, tutorial and uh, please try it out. Chroma key is very simple to do. It's in the video effects. It's a chroma key. They have green screen, blue screen, whatever it is. And to get this footage, uh, you can get it from anywhere. Again, uh, search on the internet. They have all tons of footage. And the cloud, again, you can get f royalty free clouds from everywhere. And the pictures is just a regular picture. Let me try put another picture in there. Like you say, if you want to put uh, something else instead of this New York, you put another picture in there. Still the same thing. It's the same concept. I'm just going to hit the building right there or instead of a picture you can put a footage again I hope you like this tutor tutorial and I, I'm glad I could help a little bit to advance your knowledge in Vegas Pro editing try it out try it out with your home videos make a you know footage at home put some dinosaurs in there for your kids or whatever it is so make it make it fun for them and for yourself as well and learn anything learn something new uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe so I can bring you more of this type of tutorials thank you